Sounds like you're having a tough time. I've been there, so I kind of know what you're talking about. I've been in the ever-cycling vortex of self-doubt, anxiety, frustration. It's no good. Trust me, I know. Let me share a few things with you that hopefully will help the pain to subside. You, know, you can read them if you want. You can read them again later if you feel like it. But honestly, man, if I spend all this time typing this out to you and you don't allow it to be a tender to your fire, well, you're just letting us both down. And you don't have to do that. You don't have to do anything. But you get to choose. I'm gonna give you four rules that if you can obey, if you can make these rules a command, that I believe not only will the pain subside, but perhaps transformation could take place on the inside. Rule number one, there are no more zero days. What is a zero day? A zero day is when you don't do a single solitary thing towards whatever your dream or goal is in this life. So I want you to make a conscious decision that there will be no more zero days. Now, I'm not saying you gotta kill yourself, but the point I'm trying to make is that you need to promise yourself that your new program, your new system, will be a life lived of no more zero days. This means that when the day is over and you look up and it's 11.58 at night, you did something. No more zero days. I mean, I don't care if it was one push-up, one sit-up, one page of the book, you feel me? But just make a decision that there will be no more zero days. You see, when you're in the vortex of being bummed, and you are trapped in the pattern of self-sabotaging behavior, you get used to it. And the only way you are going to break out is with a massive string of consistent non-zero days. That's rule number one. Rule number two is that you are going to have to be grateful to the three U's. Call it mumbo jumbo if you want to. Newsflash, the three U's are the past you, the present you, and the future you. And if you want to love somebody and have someone to love you back, you got to learn to love yourself. And the three U's are key. You got to be grateful for the past you, for the positive things you've done, and do favors for the future you, like you would for your best friend. You feeling bad today? Stop for a second and think of a good decision you made yesterday. That salad, that fish, that protein shake instead of a burger or fries. Did you save money in your past to buy something that resonated with you and thank the past you? Are you currently saving toward that dream or that goal you have? or that improbable feat, then you need to be grateful for the present you. The last part of the three U's is you gotta love your future self. You gotta do your future self a favor. I know you might be tired. You may be addicted to a video game or a television series. Not today, present self. This one's for future me. No PlayStation, no Xbox, no distraction. I don't care if it's one more push-up or one more sit-up or one more page in the book. You see the cycle of doing something for someone else, future you, and thanking someone for the good in your life. Past you is the key to building gratitude and productivity. Don't doubt me, over time, you should spread that gratitude to others who have helped you on your path. Rule number three, you are gonna have to forgive your 
itself. I mean it. Maybe you have all the know-how, the money, the ability, strength, and talent to do whatever you want to do. But let's say you still don't do it. Now you're gonna give yourself a tough time for not doing what you need to do. Pick your head up. Being disappointed in yourself causes you to be less productive. If you can forgive yourself, you can be healed from the past, equipped for the present, and cast vision for the future. You owe you, forgive you, and get on with the rest of your life. Rule number four is the easiest, and it's three words. Exercise and books. That's it. Pretty standard advice, but when you exercise daily, you actually get smarter. You get crystal clear about the road ahead. When you exercise, you position yourself to win the war. When you exercise and you push yourself, you attest the limitations of your soul, and you'll become crystal clear, both internally and externally, that all you have is all you need. As for books, Almost everything we've ever thought or felt or gone to or wanted or wanted to know how to do has been figured out by someone else. So get some books. Read Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. Read Emotional Intelligence. Read From Good to Great. Read Thinking Fast and Slow. Read books that will help you understand. Read books that will get you crystal clear on your future. Read the Bodyweight Fitness Reddit and incorporate it into your workouts. Reading gets you to the next level faster. One last piece of advice though. If you wake up tomorrow and you can't remember the four rules, I just laid it out for you. Read this again. Watch this video again. Don't forget, non-zero days as much as you can. The three U's, gratitude and favor, forgiveness, exercise, and books. And this is how you can dominate and get an unfair competitive advantage in the marketplace and in the game of life. And this is the road to self-improvement physically, emotionally, mentally. You got this, man. No more zero days.